Step 3. Hotlink Manager – Modifying and Updating Hotlinked Modules The builder has requested that the design team change the size and type of the openings in the tea kitchens in the left wing. They also want some corrections on the cupboards in every tea kitchen. We have modules in the affected area, but it's not necessary to modify every instance of these repetitive elements. The modifications need to be made only once in the module files. Activate the next 6.3.1 preset view. Select the tea kitchen on the ground floor by clicking on any of its elements with the arrow tool activated. Right click on the floor plan window and choose the Edit This Module in Separate Archicad from the Context menu. The Tea Kitchen module will open in another instance of Archicad. To see the entire module, press the Fit in Window icon at the bottom left part of the Floor Plan window. The client needs bigger windows at the sides of the kitchen, so let's modify the W104 windows and change their width to 2500 millimeters. Select both windows with the ID W104 with shift clicks. Then click at the middle of the upper window. The cursor changes to a check mark. Select the drag button on the appearing pet palette. Move both windows to the middle of the walls. The appearing special snap point will help to find the middle point of the walls. Keep the window selected and enter 2,500 millimeters for the width of the windows in the appropriate field of the info box. The other issue is to change the double wing door to a simple one. Select the D110 double door now with a shift click and open its settings dialog from the info box. We will change the D2 transom to a single transom door, keeping all the original parameters but the width. Press and hold down the Control plus Alt or Command plus Option keys on Mac. With the keys held down, click on the preview of the D1 transom door with the appearing injection cursor on the lower left corner of the dialog. The new door is loaded with the properties of the previous door. Enter 1,100 millimeters for the width on the preview and positioning panel and press OK. The door kept its transom and height parameters as well as its material settings and transformed to a simple door. Save the module file and close its Archicad instance by clicking Quit Archicad in the Archicad menu. Switch back to the project file. Open the Hotlink Manager using the File External Content Hotlink Manager menu command. The status of the Tea Kitchen module has been modified in the Hotlink Sources window. Select the Tea Kitchen module from the list and click the Update button. Then, click OK to perform the action. Notice that the hotlinked module has changed according to the changes made previously in the module file. Let's check on another instance of the same module file. Activate the View, Navigate, Stories, Go Up a Story menu command, or double-click the first floor in the Navigator project map. As you can see, the kitchen module has been changed in this story as well. Go to the second story to see the changes there, too. The tea kitchen modules have been updated on every level of the project. Let's modify the cupboards now.
Activate the next Modify Cupboard preset view. Open the Hotlink Manager dialog using the File External Content Hotlink Manager menu command. Let's spend a few seconds with this dialog now and delve a bit deeper. You can see the hierarchy of the hotlinked modules in the upper left portion. This provides a clear picture of the hierarchical structure of the inserted hotlink modules. Notice that the Tea Kitchen module has a nested module underneath it. Remember, we saved the Tea Kitchen with the cupboard module together. You can see the list of the hotlink sources in the lower window. This list displays the sources of the hotlinked module files together with the status of each of these files. If you select a module file in the upper window, this file will also be selected in the lower window and vice versa. Select the Tea Kitchen module in the upper window to see what kind of functions are available in the dialog. On the right side of the dialog, you will see some information about the file that has been selected. You'll see information such as module name, the linked stories and instances, file size, the time of the last modification and update, and the path of the linked file. On the selected module, you can perform various operations like change hotlink, save as file, delete, break hotlink, and so on. The Show Hierarchy in Browser command opens a browser window where you can see a clear overview of the hotlink structure with the file names, paths, and status. Let's open the Cupboard module now to modify it. Select the Cupboard module in the Hotlink Sources list and click the Open in Separate Archicad button. The module file will open in a separate instance of Archicad. Right-click and choose Fit in Window from the Context menu. Right-click again and choose Show All in 3D to open the 3D window. Use the Fit in Window command again with its icon at the bottom of the window. The client has requested a different type of range hood and desires fewer wall cabinets. Make sure that groups are suspended. Click to activate the Suspend Groups toggle on the standard toolbar. Activate the arrow tool and with shift clicks select the wall cabinet above the refrigerator and the one next to it. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. Select the range hood and open its settings dialog from the info box. Change the hood type on the parameters panel to hood 1. Then press OK. With the range hood still selected, click on the bottom middle hotspot on its wall connection side and choose the drag horizontally option from the appearing pet palette. Hold down the shift key to fix the horizontal direction and then move it above the middle of the range. Go back to the floor plan by choosing the window floor plan menu command. Save the file and close the current instance of ARCHICAD. Switch back to the original project file. Open the Hotlink Manager dialog, or if it's still open, click the Refresh Status button. The status of the cupboard module in the Hotlink Sources list will change to Modified. Select this Hotlink and press the Update button. Then press OK to leave the dialog. Notice that the cupboard has been updated on the floor plan. 
Activate the 6.3.3 preset view to see the changes in 3D. This displays the three project stories in the right wing with the corresponding kitchen area. As you can see, the cupboards have been updated on every level. Switch to the next 3D preset view to see the changes in the left wing as well. The client has further requested to change the cupboard a bit on the second floor in the right wing of the building. This element is also a hot-linked module. To modify only this module, we need to break its connection with the source file. Proceed to the 6.3.5 preset view to go to the right wing of the second floor. Select the cupboard module. Right-click it, and choose the hot-linked module settings from the context menu. Check the Break Hot Link of Selected Modules radio button. And click OK. This will break the connection between the hot-linked file and the module. After this, you can modify elements in the project. Now switch on the Suspend Groups on the standard toolbar. The client doesn't need the range and the range hood in this kitchen. Let's make these modifications in the 3D window. Open the 3D window by activating the next preset view. First, select and delete the range hood. Select the range and open its settings dialog from the info box. Change the object to cabinet base multi drawer by simply choosing this element from the graphical list on the bottom left part of the dialog. Select the panels knob tab on the kitchen cabinet settings panel and choose the style 4 knob type. Then press OK to leave the dialog. As you can see, the range has been changed to a normal cabinet base with drawers. It took only a few minutes to complete the required modifications on every story of the project by making each modification only once in the module files. We have seen that the module links are also easy to break so the solution is simple even if a unique instance of the repetitive element is needed.